Well, uh, this video is uh, designed to focus on analysis types. So when you have a circuit analysis done and um, you are trying to analyze it, it, there's four opportunities to analyze it. One is the using the, um, let me go ahead and get a writing in here so we can look at it together. So of the, um, when we're doing simulation, we have four possibilities. One's called bias point. And basically is that if I run the circuit at a given voltage, at a given value, would I be able to um, uh, find specific values for those settings? Time or trans time domain or transient basically is an analysis that says as the time changes, would my circuit uh, values change over time? So the x-axis is basically time as we move forward. DC sweep is where we are going to be able to change the voltage or current over a range of uh, voltages or current correspondingly and then determine whether um, whether any part of the circuit changed and what voltages in different part of the circuit changed. AC sweep uh, basically allows us to change the frequency of our AC or uh, voltage or current source um, and see how that impacts the um, rest of the circuit. Now, of course, the time, the transient, um, and the time domain, uh, and um, uh, and then the uh, AC sweep. Both of those are more interesting when we have uh, inductor capacitors and uh, and um, AC signals. So we're going to leave those for a little later on. We're going to focus. We've been doing basically bias point so far as if you go default and then we're gonna for this one we're gonna fo for this video we're gonna focus on DC sweep and see how that uh, works and how what kind of information it gives us so let's go ahead and go back there we had um, we have a circuit that looks like this has been already put in there and we're gonna go ahead and try to um, simulate it when you go to pSPICE and you say either new simulation let's go new simulation we start a new simulation we give it a name and we say this is a example of um, of uh, um, the C sweep um, just a name and then we go over here we gives us a window that looks like this and in here we'll can select DC sweep well, as soon as you select DC sweep he says okay what the, is it that you want to sweep? Do you want to change? In this case, we only have one independent source. That's the only thing we can mess with. So we're going to say we got a current source. The name of our current source is I1. That's a designator for it. And let's say we want to change this from um, minus 10 amps to plus 10 amps in, let's say, 0.1 amp intervals. And what we like to see is how some other parts of the circuit changes. Now, um, we could in here, for example, let's say I want to know how does the voltage across the 10, um, 10 kilo ohm changes. So I'll just grab this marker and put it here and put it here. That automatically tells my simulator to watch this signal. Let's say one other thing we are interested in is we really are interested to know what kind of current is flowing through that particular point. So now we've had, we got two things we're watching. We're watching the voltage difference across this and we're watching, watching this current. While, while we are um, in changing the I1 uh, from minus 10 to 10 and 0.1 steps. So let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and apply this. We say, okay. And then now we're going to run our simulation and see what happens. Once we run our simulation, we get the simulation window up. Now, what we got in the simulation window, remember we put the two markers on. One was to watch the current run I4, and that's what's giving us in the red, as you can see. And then, um, and then um, we also are getting the green, which is this voltage. Now, one interesting thing that seems to happen, of course, which makes uh, sense, is if there's no current coming through from the current source, there's no power coming in, everything is zero. And we can kind of see what are the slope of the other curves. 
uh, going on so for example let's say you want to know the specific value at a certain point you want to know what happened when you put minus one amp into into the current source and then what you could do you can go ahead and go to the trace get a cursor and take your cursor and move it here while you put the cursor there you can look down down here you it will tell you what the values are that you're seeing the y value would be on the y-axis of the green you can jump on the red and get a different value on the red um, so so the, as you can see the cursor we can kind of uh, move it around here and see what the values are as you're moving the cursor around okay so this is a uh, DC sweep allows you to change a supply and watch the rest of the circuit now let's say let's say after the fact you're looking at this and you say you know it would have been really nice to take a look at what the current in R1 is as well so you don't have to go back and put a marker on you actually literally come come to the trace say add a trace and say okay I want to find a current across R1 select that put it in there say okay and press okay voila you've got that showing right here in the purple uh, line as well so so uh, as you can see this is a quite a quite a flexible tool which allows you to um, watch the your circuit change based on you changing the values of the voltage okay so these are ex this was an example of how you can use DC sweep to get a s characteristic of your signal over a range of voltages or currents thanks for listening and uh, I look forward to the next uh, conversation.